Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Sam Ryan. Certainly have the extremes across the nation for your Labor Day weekend. We actually have freeze warnings uh, that have been issued by the National Weather Service for Northern Nevada, Northern California, Southern Oregon. We have red flag warnings across Oregon due to all the dry air. So they're concerned about some fire and the stronger winds. In addition to that, winter weather advisories for Northern uh, Idaho and Western Montana. Then we have flash flood watches issued for Northern Minnesota. They're getting quite a bit of rainfall. They're sort of on the dividing line between the cold air off to the west. And then we have some major heat that's been baking the central and eastern United States and the Ohio River Valley. You can see this cooler pocket of air, though, this chunk of colder air in the green shaded colors. This is going to lead to a big weather pattern shift this week. That's going to slowly spread off to the east, bringing relief from all the heat and humidity across the central U.S. by Tuesday and Wednesday, and finally the eastern U.S. late in the week. Now, there is a slight risk of severe weather Sunday for eastern and central Minnesota, western Wisconsin, and northern Iowa. They could see along the strong cold front some large hail and damaging winds and also still that potential for flash flooding. You can see all these showers and thunderstorms, big wave of low pressure developing area of low pressure and that strong cold front. That's where we'll see that line of showers and thunderstorms that will continue to very slowly move off to the east, bringing that heavy rain threat into Chicago by Monday night and Tuesday. 88 for highs in Minneapolis Sunday, 73 Billings, only 64 in Seattle. They're happy they're finally getting some rain. 86 in Atlanta, 88 in Washington, 95 in St. Louis. Then we start to cool down across the north on Monday, 72 in Billings, 79 in Minneapolis, but keep it hot to the south and east.